Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part 10 of this polymer clay sculpting demonstration where I'm making a tiger's face. In this video I'm going to be painting on the stripes and I'm going to show you how I did it in time lapse. And I'm also going to seal my work and show you which product I use at the end of the video. Um, I read all the comments in the last video and I agreed with pretty much all of them. It needed something done so I painted this white and started over. Uh, the first biggest change was the nose. I painted it flesh colored and it helped distinguish that area a lot better. Whereas before the whole area was black and you couldn't tell what was what. I thought that was a major improvement. And the stripes is pretty much I just followed the, um, the piece that I was going by because I wanted it to be easy as possible. Um, having said that, I was really, really nervous about doing this. It took me forever to upload this. Uh, to even paint it, it took me forever because I was so worried about messing up. Uh, but anyhow, getting started. Last time I had, I didn't have orange, so I had to create orange using red and yellow, and it had way too much red in it. So this time I actually had orange to work with, and it was way better. I managed to lighten up the eyebrows a little bit, and I think it looks a little bit better than the last paint job. Um, I'm just basically hand drawing on the pattern that I want to use and then to give me an idea of how it's going to look. I guess this way if I mess up it's not too bad you know, as, as opposed to putting paint on there and it not looking right. But you'll have to forgive this single camera angle because to be honest with you when I was doing this the last thing on my mind was that camera or my hand if it was in the way or perhaps my bald head you know these things normally I really I'm really picky about but I was so nervous about doing this uh, it, it took me forever literally to sit down and paint it because I just you know I didn't want to mess it up I guess I don't know I don't know if it's a really big deal I could have started over if I did but I was putting this off bad something bad and I you know I don't mean that um, I apologize this was a very brief session. It didn't take very long to do this at all. But like I said, it, it was very, very nerve-wracking. I was so worried about messing things up. And I just, I've been hesitating uploading this video. I'm not really sure. I, I kind of like it. My wife loves it. I just don't know what y'all guys are going to think. Whenever I start one of these projects, especially if it's something I've never done before, like this tiger, I I run the chance of it failing or not turning out very well. And I think what's going on in my mind, I, I'm not wanting to face the final results. Because once it's final, once it's done, it can't be nothing more. It is what it is. But during the creation process, it, it still has potential to be anything. So... I just, it's, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't, it probably sounds a little bit weird, but that, it kind of like slowed me down on this one. And I'm really, really, really glad to be moving on to a new project or finishing up that prana plant. I don't believe I showed you guys yet how I seal my work. So since I'm at that point in this project, I thought I would go ahead and include that in this video. I'm going to seal this. Um, this is the product that I use. Now I stand behind this 100%. Even after three years, the project never gets sticky. It's easy to use. Uh, I just, I don't recommend anything else. It's amazing. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a few coats on this and it's nothing very complicated, but I thought I'd just show you how I do it. Um, aside from the obvious stuff like don't spray without the can moving, you know, because you'll make a run or, or whatever, some of the less obvious things that you can read on a can is don't take the can from a cold area out into a like a warm area because it could cause it to cloud up and stuff. And don't do it if it's real humid out. Hopefully it's not too humid right now. But let me go ahead and get started. I'm just going to do like a like a tack coat
and go ahead and spray the area around it a little bit. That way you can just fill that to see how it fills instead of messing with the actual sculpture. But you want to let that dry for, I don't know, maybe three or four minutes. I don't, I don't really let it dry very long. I, I just paint the crap out of it. But you have to be careful because it could run. See how that's nice and tacky? It's only been about a minute. I can go ahead and add me another coat. A little bit heavier this time. Now this seals the work, it protects the paint, and it keeps it from, um, it keeps it really, really nice, like you can clean it and stuff. Okay, so far I have two coats on it. And this will actually make it shine and bring out the luster and make all the colors look really, really, really good as well as protect everything. Because what I discovered with airbrushing, if, if say if I put a little black drop right here and I need to fix that, you know, kind of get it off, you cannot take a Q-tip, like a damp Q-tip and like very carefully remove a, a mess up when you're airbrushing because the paint comes out, it's all atomized. So it's super thin. It's thinner than skin. So as soon as you touch it with anything damp, it's instantaneous. You lose that color and the color underneath, which is this lighter color, would shine through. I discovered that while painting this. You can't fix something like with your fingers or a Q-tip or whatever. You just got to paint over it with the airbrush. But if what I was thinking, if, if you needed to do like a critical paint job on, like say these stripes, we'll pretend they were critical and I didn't want to really mess everything up. I could seal this whole thing before I did the paint, the black, and then come back, do the black. If I mess up, I have a better chance of cleaning this after it's sealed than I do trying to do it all, you know, at one time. Just something to think about. Okay, that's ready for our third coat. Now I'm spraying this thing eyeballs and all. I'll just probably clean the eyes later after it's all dry. But that's that's pretty much it. This is completely sealed now. It's protected. Um, like I said, this really, really does a great job. It's amazing stuff. I recommend you giving it a try if you haven't tried it yet. Um, it's been asked a lot how I seal my work, so I just wanted to but anyhow, this is it. Um, I'll compose a final reveal video, trying to showcase this a little bit better. Uh, in the meantime, I do appreciate you guys for watching and for being patient. Sorry for taking so long. I know it's been a month, but I was kind of on break. I'm back. Um, things are looking good. Looking forward to hearing from y'all again. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you here again soon.